Hey, this time I'm doing a keyboard video. It's going to be everything about the Zero Writer keyboard and what went into making it and uh, what you can do with yours. Probably the most important component of a writer deck is the keyboard. So I started with something that I really wanted, a real mechanical keyboard. But I also wanted something really portable that would just fit in my bag and I could take anywhere. And to get here, I had to learn a little bit about how keyboards work and make my own. So I'm definitely not going to get too technical in this video, but basically a keyboard is a PCB like this, a printed circuit board, with switches attached to uh, parts of the circuit. And the idea is, uh, you can kind of see on the back here, all these different connections. When a key is pressed, uh, the circuit is completed across those little connections. And on my keyboard, I wanted to have hot swap sockets, which you can see here. Uh, these make it so you can easily switch in and out uh, your keyboard switches. And maybe that's a bit simple, but that's kind of what we're looking at. So you have the PCB, the socket on the back, and the switch on the front. And there's the PCB plate. So all the plate does is kind of hold your switches in place. And uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of different switches. Uh, I'm using chalk switches uh, for the Zero Writer Ink. And as you can see, there's tons of different choices. Your switch is gonna give you the different feel of your keyboard. It could be uh, clicky or tactile, linear. Uh, the amount of force you use changes. So let's take a look at what I've been using on mine. And just as a heads up, this is my prototype unit. So I've been using it a lot and things are a bit loose. It's not totally stable yet. So the sound is gonna be a little bit off. Anyway, I've been using a silent switch I found called Ambience from Low Pro Keyboard, KB, Low Pro kb.ca not affiliated or sponsored but he's another Canadian uh, hardware guy so show him some support I've been really happy with the ambient silent switches because I use it a lot uh, in bed or when my girlfriend's trying to sleep so a really clicky mechanical keyboard can be uh, not ideal. But the nice thing about the Zero Writer Ink is you can just customize it however you want. So uh, here's me removing the silent switches and installing some KLH Brown switches. I'm using a two-in-one switch and key puller I just got from Amazon or I think maybe it came free with an order of switches or something I don't remember. And to remove the switches, you just use the switch puller. You give it a bit of a wiggle side to side and the switch will come out of the uh, socket and that's it. Oh, and yeah, you can see the PCB wiggling a little bit again because uh, it hasn't been totally stabilized yet. Uh, some things are loose in there because I'm still prototyping, but uh, rest assured it's gonna be uh, a stable slab when all is done. Installing the switches is pretty straightforward too. Uh, you just kind of line them up, pop them in, and apply some pressure and they kind of snap into place. And then last step, of course, you put the keycaps back on. So basically you line up the keycaps and push them in with some pressure. Uh, this also kind of 
uh, aligns the switch into the socket if it was a bit loose. Okay, let's give it a go. And again, disclaimer, uh, this isn't final. There's a lot of structure missing from the keyboard. It will not sound uh, so rattly or hollow. And here's me using the brown tactile switch from KLH. 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 Anyway, it sounds a lot more like a traditional mechanical keyboard. Not sure if I like the brown switch too much. Uh, I'm going to keep testing out other switches, and I plan on doing a video in the future with going through all the different options from KLH. So yeah, as uh, you can see, you can kind of go crazy with the keyboard. You can customize the switches uh, as far as low profile mechanical keyboards go. Uh, KLH Chalk V1, which is the profile I'm using, is pretty well supported. There's a lot of choice. And there's still time to join the Zero Writer Drafttober giveaway. Uh, I'm encouraging everyone to write or do something creative in October and uh, hold yourself accountable and at the end of the month share what you came up with. Uh, to celebrate you can enter my other video and I'm giving away uh, a Zero Writer kit like the one pictured here. And hey Zero Writer Inc is still up on crowd supply. We're in the last week so don't miss your chance to grab one.